Hi, my name is Brianna, and welcome to my reaction commentary channel. Today we're going to be reacting to season 1, episode 12 of Hannibal. Now we finally made it to the penultimate episode, there's only two left in the season. And at the end of last episode, my baby Will was finally admitted to the hospital, something I've been begging for for a few episodes now. And I'm convinced that Hannibal doesn't really want a friend, he wants a hamster. He wants to keep Will in a cage where he can just observe his behavior and feed him sometimes. Now, whatever happens in this episode, all I know is I'm not ready. But before we get into it, if you could do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications, follow me on all my social media, that way we can skip the chit chat and get straight to the good part. It's my boy Will and my girl Georgia. What's up girl? You look good. I mean the last time I saw you, you were trying to cut off people's faces. So, I mean anything is an improvement at this point. You look better. Do I look alive? You look pretty. Oh no, I support this friendship. This is the only weekly antagonist friendship that I'm here for. I hope you have good insurance. Right there with them on that one, though. I might remember what I did, but I don't want to remember. You know what you did, Georgia. I mean, knowing and remembering are two different things. It feels more like a horrible dream where I killed my friend. You dream about killing anybody else? I dream you killed that doctor, that I couldn't see your face. Exactly, because it wasn't my boy Will. Silky chicken in the broth. Oh, Lord. Wolf berries, ginseng, ginger, red dates, and star anise. You made me chicken soup. Yes. A very nice and friendly gesture, Hannibal. I don't trust you. And I also would not allow Hannibal to make me water. Visiting that unfortunate young woman suffering from delusions. She's my support group. And I hope you're hers. Yes, they're friends. Don't be jealous, Hannibal. The hallucinations, the um, loss of time, sleepwalking, could that have all just been the fever? Fevers can be symptoms of dementia. Dementia? How did we get here? I feel like we're making big jumps, Hannibal. What we must do now is continue to support and monitor your recovery. This young woman you were visiting, how's her recovery? Hannibal, you would have a lot of questions about Georgia. Girl, you just picked up a random comb. Also, who left a comb inside of this machine? I don't know how this thing works, but I know it costs millions of dollars. Is there like an emergency exit? I just said how much I like Georgia. I am so sorry, Will. You really should not have to see this. You just made a friend. Damn. R.I.P. Georgia. She was a real one. Hey, y'all didn't have to show the body, though. Hospital speculates that it was a short circuit that ignited the fire. You know, it looks well maintained. Horrible way to die. It wasn't wearing a grounding bracelet. It prevents the buildup of static electricity. She took it off. Suicide by immolation. She wasn't suicidal, Jack. She, she was sick. I was here. I spoke to her. Okay, don't judge my boy for going and making a friend. Because I know how she felt. We could use the articles I wrote at the time of each of the murders as book chapter headings. Oh my gosh, Freddy. Girl, you're back at it. You didn't even take a week off after Gideon tried to take out all of Chilton's organs in front of you. Also, Abigail, stop talking to this woman. Just as well. Wasn't really my dad's last victim anyway. Was I? Who was? Marissa? Marissa sure was killed by the copycat. So blame my dad. Blame him for Nick Boyle's death? I blame Nick Boyle for Nick Boyle's death. Nick Boyle was just a dumb kid who was really messed up because his sister was murdered. Yeah, and Freddie, you took advantage of him and pointed him in the direction of Abigail. I've interviewed enough killers to know one when I see one. I mean, you've also met enough killers because they keep popping up in your neighborhood, girl. What gives them away? A very specific brand of hostility. I see it every time I look at Will Graham. 
Hey, yo, not my boy. Also, he has every right not to like you. Freddy, I don't like you. As far as I'm concerned, he killed Nick Boyle. He and Jack Crawford told everyone Nick was the copycat, and then someone murdered him for it. See, and here I am, naive enough to think that now that he's out of the hospital, he's doing better. Also, that is terrifying. See? My God! Damn! Double homicide! The fire and the antlers? Oh no. It's a demon moose. Will is putting it together. The moose and the person that killed Georgia. Put it together, Will. It's your boy Hannibal. I'm gonna have Z come down here and stick a thermometer in you, and if you've got a temperature higher than 99, She was then... murdered, Jack. Listen to him. When has he steered you wrong before, Jack? She told me there was somebody else there. She couldn't see his face. There was somebody else there. It was Dr. Sutcliffe. She couldn't see his face because she'd cut it in half. Wait, what? Why are you yelling at me, Jack? This conversation doesn't need to be an argument. Number two, shut up and listen to Will. All her adult life, this woman was misunderstood. What I can do is make sure that her death isn't misunderstood. She didn't kill herself. This wasn't an accident. Jack, I like you, but if you try to crush Will's spirit, I will fight you. So what sparked the fire? Inconclusive, but not conclusively inconclusive. Found this. Wait, what? The mass spectrometer said it was celluloid plastic. They don't use plastic in those things. Right, right. It generates uh, static electricity. Her hair is melted right in there. Preserved like it was in amber. Working out the case. Could it have been a plastic comb? You're holding the murder weapon. Will. Oh, 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 oh. Whoever killed Sutcliffe wanted to kill him. How Georgia Madsen killed her victim, but but not exactly how. She was copied. Like, uh, whoever killed Marissa Shore and Cassie Boyle wanted to copy how Garrett Jacob Hobbs killed his victim. We're putting together the case. All the dominoes are falling in line. Hannibal's always just a little bit off. That Dr. Sutcliffe was killed by Garrett Jacob Hobbs' copycat? Hey, y'all are gonna act surprised? Do y'all not remember the last 12 episodes? Y'all have seen the craziest serial killers on Earth. Could this be more than just a fever? Will is connecting murders that previously had no connections. Gosh dang it, and then Jack goes straight to Hannibal to spill the tea. What's Will's relationship with Abigail Hobbs right now? You think he's protecting her? I can't imagine he would hide anything criminal from you. I've only ever known Will as a man striving to be his best self. Is it really mental illness, Doctor, or is it just that his mind works so differently from most people's that... We don't know what else to call it. There are days when even Will doesn't understand his own thinking. I mean, that's true, but it's not making, it's not painting a good character assessment of my boy. What's up, Bedelia and Jack in the same room? I'd like to talk with you about a patient of yours. This is getting good. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes. Bedelia, what is the story? What's going on in the background? I suspect that Dr. Hannibal Lecter may be withholding pertinent information. He is. Jack is right on that. You are hoping he's confided in his psychiatrist, and I'll tell you. It's not that I think Dr. Lecter's dangerous. I don't. I do. I am concerned about a relationship he has with one of his patients, a man named Will Graham. Perhaps we can discuss you. You were attacked by a patient. The patient who attacked me was a former patient of Dr. Lecter. Did Lecter send the patient after you, Bedelia, the same way that he sent Gideon after Alana? You should know there was another attack recently in Dr. Lecter's office. Tobias and Franklin. It was a mess. You have to admit, he's had some pretty strange relationships with some of his patients. Hannibal refers to Will Graham more as a friend than as a patient. Bedelia, that's a lot of information for you to give Crawford. Well, I consider Will a friend. And I'd like to have him too. Everybody in the show sucks at friendship. It seems to me that Will Graham would do well to have more friends like Dr. Lecter. Girl, no. But also, you know Lecter. And you know how he is. You might not know what he is, but you know how he is. Will Graham theorized that the copycat killer and Garrett Jacob Hobbs are somehow connected. I want to track Garrett Jacob Hobbs using license plate capture from security footage. I also want to know every phone call he made and where he made them from. Wait, hey, hi, it's me, Brianna, but I have questions. Why didn't we do this before? 
Because even if we didn't think that Gary Jacob Hobbs had killed these latest people, we did know that he was a serial killer. So why weren't we checking his phone calls, his GPS, his internet history, where he bought gas? That's the normal things to check. We should have already had that on file. I thought there was something wrong with me because I didn't feel ugly when I killed Nick Boyle. Girl, you gotta stop saying the crime out loud in public. Shut up. Shut up, Abigail. I feel like you'd done something wrong when you killed my dad. I felt powerful. I wish I killed him. For killing all those girls, for making me. Making you what, Abigail? Exactly. Get her, Will. Part of any of it. I mean, get her. You know how I feel about Abigail. It's complicated, but Will, I want you to discover the truth. Feels like my dad's still out there. Girl, no, it's not your dad. It's a copycat. His name is Hannibal, and he's worse than your father. I think I can catch him. I'm gonna need your help. An agent from the FBI came to see me. Girl, Bedelia, watch your back, girl, because I don't trust him. He asked me questions about your relationship with Will Graham. Even more honesty. Jack Crawford was here. Hannibal, are the walls closing in? He believes Abigail Hobbs was involved in her father's crimes. And he suspects Will is protecting her. And evidently, he suspects you are protecting Will. Are you asking us, my psychiatrist? I'm speaking to you now as your colleague. Whatever you're doing with Will Graham, stop. I don't know how Hannibal is going to handle being told what to do. You cannot function as an agent of friendship for a man who is disconnected from the concept as a man who is disconnected from the concept. The blind leading the blind, truly. Agent Crawford also asked me about my attack. Let's talk about it, cause I wanna know. Also Hannibal's body language, he's up here pacing and he's fidgeting, that's not normal. That a violent patient swallowed his tongue while he was attacking me. I didn't tell him how or why or who was responsible. Okay. You protect your patient from Jack Crawford, but I can't protect mine. Not anymore. Is Bedelia afraid of Hannibal? Because one, she should be, but two, she's very smart and apparently good at her job. Good enough that Hannibal respects her. I'll find a way to relieve them. Hmm. Hannibal walked into her space, sat down. That was a power move. I am finally thinking clearly about the copycat. Oh shit. Which means that you were in the worst position that you have been in all season, Will. Georgia Madchen followed me to Sutcliffe's office. She witnessed his murder. She saw the copycat. Why not kill her then and there? He was an unreliable witness. Just that bought him time. True. He wasn't planning on framing her. Planning on framing me. You believe this is personal? Oh, it's always been personal. Start where the copycat started when he called Garrett Jacob Hobbs. Well, this is venturing into the paranoid. Part of me wants to be glad that Hannibal is shaken in his boots. The other one is afraid of how he's going to react at being in a tight space. Found more instances of Hobbs crossing with victims. Dinner receipts for two and two hotel rooms. She was with him when he was choosing these girls. She was the bait. Reluctantly, okay? She wasn't happy about it. And it was either her or them. It was a thing. Hello, Agent Crawford. You came here to arrest somebody. Is it Abigail Hobbs or Will Graham? Hopefully it's you. I'm tired of you. One of the other girls said Special Agent Graham snuck her out. Did Abigail Hobbs kill Nick Boyle? Why do you say that? Abigail is one of those very smart girls who hasn't quite figured out that very smart girls grow up and know all the moves they're making when they're trying to hide something. What is Will Graham trying to hide? He may have been confused because he was waking up from a dissociated personality state. You failed to mention any of this to me. He's taken Abigail Hobbs. We have evidence that she was involved in some of her father's crimes. We just don't know how involved. Hannibal, you don't look well. You look a little sick. There's something you should hear. How did you feel seeing Marissa Shua impaled in his idol room? Guilty, because I felt like I killed her. Hannibal, you bitch. Are you backstabbing Will? You know he was in Dr. Sutcliffe's office the night that he was killed. And Will was the last person to visit Georgia Madsen before she died. You're gonna sell out my boy Will, your one friend? He said he got so close to Garrett Jacob Hobbs and what he had done. That he felt he was becoming him. Um, put it in context. And now he has Hobbs' daughter. <laughs> who Hobbs intended to kill. You look sad and you look like you feel bad. You look uncomfortable about what you did to your friend. Also, Will, what the hell are y'all doing? Also, where are y'all going? 
we really came here? Why did we come here? Um, Will, what's the end game? Because this is a real effed up situation. I felt like I had to understand that. Will, you could have taken her to Disney World. This is not it. Dad taught me how to hunt. No, that's not what I'm asking. Abigail, run, girl, because Will does have a fever and he hasn't been acting like himself. Did you fish or did you hunt Abigail? I was the lure. She said it. Did Hannibal tell you? Will, now you're finding out that Hannibal knew. He said you'd protect me, that you'd keep it a secret. Hannibal knew this whole time. He's not who you think he is. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> he knew. Of course he knew, Will. How many other people have you killed? Do you think I'm the copycat? Somebody you know too, Will. And how did Abigail get away? Abigail? Damn, of course Hannibal's here. Girl, stop hugging him. He is not the knight in shining armor. He threw Will under the bus and I'm pissed at him. He knows everything. So does Jack Crawford. He can't protect me anymore. Will always said whoever called the house that morning was the CIO killer. I wanted to warn your father that Will Graham was coming for him. The truth? Why? I was curious what would happen. Hannibal, you were bored? I wanted to see how much like your father you were. Oh my god. How many people have you killed? Many more than your father. Terrifying. Are you going to kill me? I'm so sorry, Abigail. Um, Hannibal, that's not an answer. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you in this life. All right, and that concludes season one, episode 12 of Hannibal. That episode had me stressed, literally on the edge of my seat, having a hot flash. When it comes to Hannibal, so far I feel like I've given him like a backseat pass because I've been so focused on Will and all the struggles that he goes through every single episode. And like I'm fully aware that Hannibal is out here pulling strings and setting up and manipulating everyone, all to his benefit. But it wasn't until this episode that I feel like we got to see Hannibal in action. Not simply Hannibal acting from a seat of power that he's usually in, but we got a lot of Hannibal being antsy. He was pacing and he was fidgeting. He stumbled over his words a little bit in this episode. Also, when he finally did pull the trigger and totally threw Will under the bus to Crawford, but when he did it, he looked a little hurt about it. He looked kind of sad. It didn't make Hannibal feel good to throw Will under the bus. It's just simply, it came down to the question of, will it be Hannibal or Will? And Hannibal chose himself. <laughs> I feel like I praise the show every week for the parallels between Will and each week's antagonists. But once again, my girl Georgia, RIP to a real one, she did not deserve that. People like Crawford view Georgia as just another deranged, mentally ill person who is a known murderer. So obviously she must have killed the last victim in the same manner as all the other victims. But it was like, no, what actual evidence do you have? I mean, okay, I understand she was at the scene of the crime. She was holding the murder weapon. She was covered in his blood and she had killed before in that manner. But besides that, do we really have evidence on my girl? No, we didn't. We just jumped to conclusions and we didn't properly investigate. And now that's exactly what they're doing to Will with the help of Hannibal. And now that the walls are closing in and things are getting hot on his tail, he's like, oh, well, hey, Jack, you know how I've told you that Will was doing just fine all this time? That's actually a lie. And I think he's completely off his rocker and possibly a murderer. And a lot like Georgia, Will is just the victim of circumstance. I mean, he's also Hannibal's victim, and he's a victim of, like, Crawford's delusions. But besides that, circumstance. Truly, honestly, Will, get better friends, okay? Because these hoes ain't loyal. If it's not Beverly, I was going to say or Alana, but Alana has already kind of sided with Hannibal in the face of Will before, and so I'm a little leery on that. But right now, if it's not Beverly, I'm not trusting it. Also, Zeller and Price because they solved the case again today. Also, let's talk about Bedelia for a second. One, ma'am, your hair, always on point. Two, your kitchen was great, okay? I love you. But in this episode, we got a little bit more of Bedelia's backstory. I mean, we've always known that she's currently not seeing other patients 
other than Hannibal because she was attacked by a former patient. But now we know that the former patient that she was attacked by was also Hannibal's former patient. And that specifically the attack and the death of that patient had a lot to do with Hannibal. So on purpose, the show is not telling us too much about Bedelia yet, but what I can tell you about my girl Bedelia is she's smart, she's on it, and she sees things how they are. So I feel like she's afraid of Hannibal. Like girl, you know he's dangerous, and you know the person across from you is dangerous, and I feel like the only reason that you're interacting with him in the way that you are is possibly out of fear or self-preservation. I'm worried about Bedelia. Girl, run. If you can. I don't know if you can. I don't know exactly how you get away from Hannibal. Abigail, Abigail, stop talking to Freddy. You know good and doggone well that you murdered Nicholas Boyle. Why do you keep talking to a journalist who wants to write a book about the murders if you yourself don't want to get caught? And truly, if Hannibal's at the top of the food chain and like power ranking, Freddy's close to the top too. Because while what she does may not be pretty, she seems to get the job done for herself. And she comes out on top more than once. To the point that the FBI keep turning to her for help and answers. And last but not least, Will. That's my baby. That's my man and I'ma stick beside him. Okay? It looks bad. It looks really bad. It looks like he might be a deranged serial killer. But looks can be deceiving. Just like Hannibal. Next week is the season one finale. I'm so excited. I'm also nervous and a little scared. But mostly I want to thank you so much for being here with me. And on your way out, if you could do me a quick favor, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for post notifications. Follow me on all my social media. That way I can see you next time with another one. Bye y'all.